I want to ask why, but I already know. I already know why you changed or didn't. Though I also know you think I changed, but I didn't. Yet, I thought you knew me. I thought you could see and not write through me. I thought you understood me intimately, smoothly. Foolishly, I thought I was free to be. Free to be what I know is best for me. Every day I am challenged and put to the test. This was happening way before you came into my sacred circle. I had to lose a lot in order to be where I was when I met you, when I left you, and where I am today too. And losing hurts, but it also helps me learn it reminds me to be thankful and how to have gratitude. I still choose to put others ahead of me if they truly need it. Because I'm in need now, so I understand the reason. And people who've been there understand this too. We get knocked down, but we keep pulling through. Like when you left, that time I was driving, following traffic, and you said, let me out. You didn't wait for me to stop. You just jumped out. The last thing I did was shout. Your name echoed in my vehicle after you slammed the door shut in my face. You posted your anger. Social media witnessed what you wanted them to witness on the phone that I bought for you. Put under my name. There will never be respect for the woman who believes in your games. You torture yourself. I am not your mother. I will not let you make me one either. Your pain is so deep, I had to let go before I could sink deeper. Before I could let you suffocate me with all of your emotional labor. And when I almost fell, she, she was there in her beauty, in her grace. She showed me mercy when all I needed was an embrace. All I needed was to be understood. She looked into my eyes and knew I was speaking truth. She is a goddess, this daughter this mother, this creator. And I am grateful, grateful that she can see that I am too. Ah, a goddess that tends to get lost in what she thought love was. I'm unlearning and I'm still growing. I am worthy and I am deserving. And it's not my problem if you do not believe this, especially about yourself. Though the more I told you, I thought you would eventually believe it for yourself. Feel it for yourself. You'd see I wasn't doing this for myself. I was sacrificing what I could so that we could both breathe, 
while swimming in this deep sea that I allowed myself to be pulled into. Yet you chose to buy cigarettes with the last of my money. You let me drown in your ocean. I gave you the power to feed us both, yet you chose your addiction. Resentment is not a lie. Resentment is the truth. This pain is not mine, so I began to resent you. Because there were things that I supposedly could no longer do. Like though I am woman, I have to keep myself covered. Hidden from the world meant only for you to look under. That is not traditional. That is not sacred. It is not equal. And I refuse to play by the rules created to benefit the manly blunder. Especially when this earth we live on is our true mother. Our lives reflect our creation story. Within the womb, there was darkness. And you, my child, the light. Your spirit came from where mine came from. And through femme creatures, we thrive. We thrive in knowing we are infinitely connected. One under Kisagalpi Sim and Tipskalpi Sim, the day sun and the night sun. And baby, I am night sun. I exist only in darkness, though I still choose to shine. I am night sun, and this life I live is mine. I live for freedom, for feminine justice, for the healing of thyself and for thy neighbor. I am no less, and I am no greater. I am what love ought to be. I am the daughter, the mother, and the creator. As are you, as are we. In duality, I am the son, the father, and the Holy Spirit. For my spirit is genderless. Though my spirit was born into a vessel that is now currently gentrified by patriarchal standards. Yet, I am more than gentrification. My inner matriarch knows. I am more than what I was taught to be. I am beauty. I am truth. I am love. And I am proof that my body and my vulnerability is true power, and that, that can never be taken from me. For I am power, and I will use it graciously. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much.